League Formula One Championship. And round number two, of course, is taking place at Bahrain. And last week out, last race out, I should say, we had, of course, Chazza winning in dominant fashion. But for the next two races, he will not take part. So it's a big opportunity for those of Ed, GTS, and Bolt, who are two of the quickest drivers on the grid, to take advantage. But of course, unlike last week in Melbourne, they have to survive one shot qualifying. So let's see if they are indeed able to survive as we are just now waiting for a couple of drivers to load into the session and I'm sure this is going to be a much more exciting Grand Prix than the Mexican Grand Prix that was an absolute awful race because at this track you can actually overtake and because it's a video game you can of course actually overtake so that'll be good to see some fun chaotic racing as we're eventually going to load into the one shot qualifying and uh, I hope all those who are joining us are well and of course the drivers are in chat are doing well also so I need to turn down my volume as I open up the chat so I don't then hear myself that would be rather embarrassing as a uh, Drivers taking quite a while, and I assume that we're going to see some uh, differing uh, setups here. Of course, there's lots of straights here in Bahrain, so we could see some go for just the default setup, and for some others to go with a much more top end setup, top top speed setup as a. Uh, we will go on board with our uh, Ed GTS as he's on the rundown. I don't know why, but my uh, my volume isn't exactly too high. If uh, if the volume isn't of the cars isn't too loud, let me know in chat, please. As uh, Skull TVD has retired from the session, I assume that is for some track extending. And here we go, Ed GTS and Bolt first and second as they come down into what is a very difficult. Turn 10, so easy to lock a tyre. Of course, if you are running with no braking, well, with uh, no anti-lock brakes. So come through the second, the end, the second DRS straight, the back straight. As they come through the long sweeping right-hander, which is so easy to clip the inside curb of and go spinning around. But Ed looking very, very good on this lap so far. And let's see if Bolt, it looks like he has quite a big margin to bolt with him, to be perfectly honest, has now come breaking down into the final corner. A double apex final corner, which is so difficult to get a very good exit. And it looks like very comfortably it's going to be Ed, who takes pole by half a second ahead of Bolt and then Ragno in third place. But up. Uh, yeah, and there we have it. Ed takes Bolt from Bolt. Third is Ragno. Fourth is Chiller Killer. Fifth is Dougie. Sixth is Jay Hobson UK. Seventh is Val on the medium compound tires. Eighth is Anel. Ninth is Hefford. Tenth is Testemeister. Eleventh is Murchilago. Lazard. Twelfth. Lola Power. Thirteenth. King No Skill. Fourteenth. Sheck Defar. Fifteenth. Kep Jacobs Motorsport. Sixteenth. Addy in seventeenth. Danny Abinlahart. 18th and Skull TBD 19th as I am going to just quickly turn up the uh, turn up the game sound yeah and there we go turns up just a little bit more because it did sound actually quite a bit uh, quiet for me so assume that was also the case for you lot <laughs> as, uh, as a viewer from uh, Chaz's stream <laughs> has uh, said, will live footage be shown? 
All the live footage in the world will be shown here, Rook. Good to see you uh, following along and watching the uh, the league race, which uh, Chaz won't be taking part in. Uh, as he's uh, recording the race with you probably about now. Or certainly about to. As we're just about to get out of the way for the formation lap. Oh, and I do apologise if you hear me yawning a couple of times. I am extremely, extremely tired. I've been up since about 3pm uh, uh, local time. And it's now 8am 8, 8 local time. So I've been up all night. As uh, well, Liverpool played at 3.30am my time. And then the Grand Prix started at 10 past 6am. And now, now we have this league race to looking to look forward to and uh certainly the three drivers I expected to be the quickest are the top three Ed Bolt and Ragno of course Ragno getting a very strong uh well he was up in second I can't remember where Ragno ended up finishing uh last week I've completely forgotten it should have been it absolutely should have been uh second place but he made a mistake didn't he let's uh Let's see, did Ragnar end up actually retiring from the race? I honestly, uh, honestly can't remember. Uh, Ragnar did crash, that's right, and finished fourth as, uh, Addy is, uh, is obviously second in the championship at the moment on his debut, and he's all the way down 17th as, uh, Ed is third in the championship. And, uh, he'll be looking to overtake Chazza. So he just has to score. Um, well he has to score more than 10 points to do so. As so they now are on the back straight. Coming down towards the final quarter. <sighs> oh, what's that? Who was that? That was a, a Toro Rosso who absolutely lagged off the track. I think that was the, uh, the car of Dougie Afferman. But, jeez, Jay Hobson UK of the uh, the, the Mercedes is uh, quite a ways back from the Toro Rosso there. He's seven seconds behind. And as you can see, he's, uh, as they're all stationary, he's still doing burnouts. He's actually got a Halloween helmet on. Does uh, J Hobson UK good to see that he actually plays the game? Because I have not seen that. That's for sure. As <laughs> I really don't play the game anymore. As I open up a Red Bull, much needed. And now we're about to get underway in this race. We are one. We have two. We have three. We have four. We have five. And lights out and away we go and what a fantastic start that was by Ed and also his fellow Mercedes driver Jay Hobson UK back there. As now Ed is defending from Dougie Afferman down the inside. But he holds on for the time being as Ragno get, runs a little bit wide trying to get past Bolt. But Dougie Afferman all over the back of Ragno here Ru on the run down to turn three. Dougie Afferman going to try go. Around the outside of Ragnar, is he? But he's not going to be able to quite manage that. As Val's moved up into P5. J Hobson, UK in 6th. Anol 7th. Merchilago 9th as all the action is going on back here. 9th is Chilakilla. 10th Merchilago. 12th Lazar. 12th Hereford. 13th is Lowell Power. As oh, so there's a McLaren spinning. Oh, the Toro Rosso has gone straight into him. That was the Toro Rosso as Skull. And then Danny Abin Lahad had absolutely nowhere to go. Disaster for Danny Bin Lahar there as he's been caught out in another first lap incident, which was really no fault of his own. But everything stayed relatively the same up at the front, except for Dougie Afferman, who's had an absolute storming start. He's gained two positions off the line as that Chili Killer has really had a shocker. From, he's up in P4, now down in P9 as Testermeister and Anol Tanovic are going out. 
going at it in the background and there you go the the racing point had gone off the track is now chili killer it's gonna try and go up the inside of the mclaren at the final corner but test the meister completely outbreaks him around the outside and then the racing point of Altanovic is going to try and make it three wide down the pitch straight we might even have four wide as the red bull emerge Hilago is also getting involved here but on the run down to turn one test the meister he's got a hit Oh dear, he's hit the back of Jay Hobbs in the UK. And as Adel's trying to get through, oh, as Chillerkill has forced Adel, and Adel nearly loses the car there. Ch absolute chaos as Testo hit the back. As we also have a Williams trying to get up the inside, and a Red Bull as well. It's all kicking off. Merchilago has overtaken them all. He's up into seventh. What a move by Merchilago as Chillerkill settles in behind in eighth. As there's also a Williams, the Williams is again involved here is Addy and Testemice has fallen all the way back down to 13th. It's all kicking off further back here as Chili Killer has gone a little bit wide there. But oh, as Merchilago has gone wide, he's now lost out to Anel and Chili Killer and Merchilago has to drive completely off the circuit as Anel didn't want him to get back on the track whatsoever. It's absolutely all g kicking off as Ragno. Oh, Chilla Killers hit that inside curb and he somehow not sped out into the wall. But Merchilago, oh, I thought he got the move done there, but he hasn't. As now Laz the Greek is looking on here as uh, Ragno and Ducky Afferman are going, going at it as well up ahead. But Laz the Greek got to go cleaner out there outside of Merchilago at the final corner, is he? Yes, indeed he is. But now for P3 in this race. Here goes Dougie Afferman down the inside of Ragno. Is he going to get the move done? Yes, he is. Fantastic move by Dougie Afferman there. And now Ragno might be under pressure from Val as they head down to turn four, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen as we're going to look back here. What on earth is going on as we've got Testermeister now trying to go get past Last of the Greek up into turn four and he gets the job done. And also Addy, is he going to get the, the move done on Lazar? No, not quite. Yes, the half driver has to settle in behind for the time being. But Testermeister is getting put under a lot of pressure here by Lazar as Lazar nearly outbreaks himself into the back of Testo there and he actually runs a bit wide and that's going to allow Addy to get a fantastic run as they run through turn 9 into turn 10 they're side by side but Lazar holds on for the time being and Merchilago is struggling at that corner once more as he runs wide but Addy with a fantastic run out of the corner manages to get past Lazar and he moves up into P11 it looks like things have started to slowly cool down here as everything was absolutely kicking off at this stage on the previous lap but certainly we've got to pay our attentions as Dougie Afferman has made a mistake there and Ragno should be able to capitalize as he's now going to open up the DRS down the main straight he has the inside line and the Ferrari Italian driver will move back up into third place past Dougie Afferman as Ducky Afferman cut, uh, collects quite a bit of curbing there. And now that should allow Val quite a good run. But Ducky Afferman also has DRS along with Val. As the two Williams are going side by side. I've just seen the background as Hereford has got up past Lazar for P12. As Addy has got to go up the inside of Testermeister. And it must be noted he's on the hard compound of tyres. As it looked like there was a bit of wheel banging there between the two. But as Testermeister just ran wide, but Val, he's now putting Dougie Afferman under pressure, is the Italian, he's driving a very good race at the moment, is Val, up in P5, certainly a lot further forward than what we're expecting to see Val, so it's good to see that he is performing quite well, as Anel is closing in on Jay Hobson UK for P6 on lap 4 of the Grand Prix. But I must be noted, as I was saying before, uh, Addy is on the hard compounded tyre, so he's going to be uh, he's going to be very quick. He's on a good strategy here, is Addy, and he's going to be certainly one to look out for during this race. As we have Dougie Afferman now closing up to the back of Val, as Val's actually got past, which I've somehow missed. 
Dougie Afman in the slipstream of Val down the main straight. Val is going to defend the inside line, but he has to forfeit it as Dougie Afman gets the inside line and he's going to go up the inside of Val. Val fights it, trying to go around the outside is Val. Val just about holds on. Fantastic move there by Adel Tanovic in the background. And here we go. Now Dougie Afman is going to try to get past Val. He's going to have to go the long way around. He's certainly broken later than Val. But he's not going to get it done as Adel Tanovic is looking on now. And he's looking at his lips as P4 could be up for grab series. He's much quicker than those two drivers through there. Through the first part of that corner. Turn 5. And Adel certainly closing up the gap. These two are squabbling and costing each other time. But it must be said, Ed, at the moment in the lead, is driving a fantastic race. He's three and a half seconds ahead of Bolt, T Team Black Diamond, in P2. And then f much further back, six seconds behind is Ragno in P3. Then Val, then we had Doug Affman, Alatanovic, Jay Hobson, UK, all squabbling over fourth place. A four-way battle for P4 at the moment. And Doug Affman, of course, was overtaken by Val on the previous lap. We'll be looking to get back past the Italian. But certainly Anna Altanovic and Jay Hobson UK are right there. So Doug Fman will, will obviously be focusing on what's in front of him. But we'll have to keep a wary eye on what is behind. As we are now on lap 6 out of 29 in this Bahrain Grand Prix as Val is now haven't going to have to defend from Dougie Affman. He's going to try and go around the outside looking for a switchback actually. And he's going to have a very good run out of the, here is Dougie Affman. Dougie Affman now opens up the DRS and he's going to have to go around the outside of Val. Val has the inside line but Dougie Affman cuts across. Does he run wide? Yes he does and he, him running wide there allows Val to get back up into P4 and now he's all under pressure from Anil Tanovic and what on earth is going on there? I think there's quite a bit of lag with du uh, with Ducky Afferman's car as Anil moves up into P5 ahead of Ducky Afferman there. It looked like it was a pretty good move by Anil as they're ghosting through each other. I'm not entirely sure what's happening here if I'm perfectly honest. I'm not sure why they're ghosting through each other. But they are. Dougie Affman trying to go up the inside of Anil Tanovic, but that is not going to work. And Dougie Affman now has a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. Oh, and Anil's hit the curb! And so is Val! Oh, what on earth has happened here? Both Anil Tanovic and Val have hit the inside curb! And they've gone spinning around! And now Dougie's up into fourth. Jay Hobson, UK's up into fifth. And he out of nowhere, gaining 11 positions on the hard compound tyre. It's up into P6 as we have our first pit stop of the race. And this Bolt, who is going to go on to another set of soft compound tyres. And he's also joined by Dougie Afferman. Oh boy, what has happened there? As we have Chilo Killer getting past Murchilago, I believe. Up into P5 now. Oh, there's chaos behind. Ed is driving a fantastic race at the moment. Absolutely dominating. 11 seconds ahead of Ragno. And he's certainly looking quite dominant. But of course, he has to watch out for the undercut of Bolt. And Anil Tanovic has decided to retire from the race after he spun out at that wrong, long sweeping right hand. And Val sends it from an absolute mile back on Merchilago. And he gets it stopped in time as he moves up into P6 after he spun, of course, with Anil Tanovic. But it looks like Merchilago, I thought he was going to outbreak himself into that devilish turn, turn 10 corner. One of the worst corners on in F1 for me as Bolt, thanks to Laz's mistake, comfortably gets past. And of course, that is quite important if he wants to try and undercut Ed here in this race. But, yep. Yeah, see, Bolt staying well, well away from that right, from the curb on that right-hand side. And here we go. We have now Ed coming into the pit lane as Addy is looking, is, gonna, is looking on for a tremendous result here as he nearly follows Jay Hobson UK into the pit lane as Ragno now also comes into the pits. But now, where is Bolt? Here he comes. He is coming down the main straight. Whereabouts is Ed? He's just about out. 
he's out, he's out in fr behind Val. Of course, Val has not pitted, but it looks like Ed has actually maintained quite a bit good gap to Bolt there. The undercut hasn't worked for Bolt as Ed now is going to go clean around the outside of Val. Yes, indeed he is. Fantastic move by Ed. And Ed, who's gone on to the medium compounded tyres, will be looking to go on the medium compounded tyres and then probably pit onto the soft compounded tyres later on in this race for a much faster stint. Contrary to what Bolt has done, who will probably go on to the medium or hard compounded tyres for the final few laps of the Grand Prix. As Ragno is now all the way back in P10 after his first pit stop of the race, trying to get past Danny Ibn Lahar, who has run massively wide off track, and that is going to gift Ragno P9 in this race. And of course, let's see who has pitted. And there we go Ed, Bolt, Ragno have all pitted. So, of course, Ragno is in the net P3 as things stand. And there you go. Of course, our only our only driver to start on the medium compounded tyre, apart from Kevin Jacobs, Addy is driving a fantastic race, and he's all the way up in P1 at the moment. But there we go. Hereford gets past Val for P3, and Bolt absolutely outbreaks them all. Gets past Val, does Bolt quite comfortably, and now he's going to see his sights on Hereford, and I'm sure Bolt will be looking to get past him. Into turn four, but it looks like he's just about too far back, is Bolt. Yes, indeed he is. As he can't get past, but on those soft compound tyres, he's going to he's gonna be looking to use all of the grip available as soon as possible, as he should chuck one up the inside, but he decides not to. Hereford running it a little bit wide, and Bolt should get a good run on the run down to turn nine and into ten. Is he going to try and go clean around the outside? Indeed he is, Bolt. With a very nice move around the outside of turn nine. As he moves himself up into P3. And he is four and a half seconds behind Ed. And of course when he pitted it was about that, that margin. So the undercut has not worked. In, which would put him into traffic for Bolt. Rather unfortunate there. And here we have Ed. Who's now on his one lap old medium compound of tyres. Now catching up to Addy, who's on hard the hard compound of tyres. And I think that this strategy for Addy will work out in the long run, but not for the moment. As Ed sets fast lap the Grand Prix so far, 131.5. He's absolutely flying at the moment. You can see how much more grip he has in these tyres. Now what Addy does in front of him is Addy sliding all over the place and he defends the inside line immediately but realises that Ed is not close enough and comes back across to the racing line. But Ed now is going to look for some sort of switch back to potentially set up a move down the inside. Forget the inside. He's going to go around the outside potentially setting up a switch back here. On Addy, and he's got much more grip in these medium compound tyres. Been to turn 9, Addy maintains position. But on the exit of turn 10, of course, Ed will have DRS on the Haas driver. And Addy defending the inside line very aggressively at the start of the straight. But Ed, with fantastic move up the inside, manages to get past Addy for the time being. Yes, he does. He gets the move done. Ed, a fantastic move there on Addy. And he moves himself back into the lead of the Grand Prix on lap 10 of 29 here in the Nemesis Online Online Racing League F1 Championship. But Addy will be quite happy to maintain or uh, well, just sustain his DRS for as long as he possibly can here. As, of course, that will help him. Help him with his strategy as we have Hereford pitting. Now from P5, as we will just check out. As we can see, those who have not stopped so far Addy, Shekdifar, Keen, No Skill, and Laz the Greek 
Well, forget the last of the grid, because he has now come to pit lane. So the only drivers who have not stopped at the moment are Addy, Val, Shaktifa, and King No Skill. So most of the grid has now completed their first pit stop. And it looks like Addy, oh, so Addy is is on a very good strategy there on the hard compound tyres. But I was meaning to say Ed is looking fairly dominant at the moment in this race. And Ragno is, uh, is quite a ways back from Bolt, 15 seconds nearly, and that is P3 in this race, or a net P3 in this race, I should say. Right, so we have our closest battle on track at the moment with Chilla Killer, and Dougie Affman as Chilla Killer decides to just drive off the track there, it, lo it looks like. It looks like he could have slowed it down, but he just misjudged it slightly, and that has cost him a couple of tenths there to Dougie Afferman. As Heffert is also closing in on Mercio Largo for P10 in this race. But as soon as I say that, he, uh, he loses a little bit of time. As I am now starting to yawn more and more often. Not because the race is boring, that's for sure. The race is very exciting. But I am just oh so tired. As now we have Schechtefer coming into the pits. And what set of tyres is he going to go onto? He's going to go onto the medium compound of tyres. Is Schechtefer he's going to keep on the, sa well, the same compound of tyres. As he will come out probably in P14. Yes, he does. Schechtefer comes out in P14, just behind Lazar the Greek, the Williams driver, in 13th place. And Schechtefer struggling with the tyres just at the moment, as they are rather cold. But Merchilago closing up to the back here of Chilakilla for P8, and also joining in on that battle, or looking to join in on that battle, is Hefford here in the Williams car. He is on the hard compound tyres, whereas Murchilago, I believe, is on the uh, is on the soft compound of tyres. But Murchilago trying to go around the outside of Chilla Killer, and it looks like he may be able to stick that move. That is a fantastic move by Murchilago. But he needs to make sure he doesn't clip the curb, and that's exactly what he does. Is somehow Chilla Killer is not being collected by the spinning Murchilago there. As now Murchilago comes reversing across the track. Rather safely, as the McLaren is nowhere to be seen. But I knew as soon as that happened, Murchilago was going to clip that inside curb. He was too narrow. He was too to the inside through that sweeping right-hander. And Murchilago has cost himself a couple of positions there. And now it's down into P11. Oh, we've had Val. Pit from P10 in this race, as we have Hereford now putting Chilakilla under quite... A substantial, a substantial amount of pressure in P8. And Val, of course, was pitting from about P4, I think it was. Or might have been even P5. And he's fallen down to P10. Two, no, 2.8 seconds behind Jay Hobson, UK. As Addy and King No Skill have still not pitted, and uh, King No Skill is on the medium compound tyre, so he's doing. He's certainly going to be doing a one stop, and I assume at the end of this lap, he is going to go onto the hard compound of tyres. Of course, King No Skill uh, is taking that Ferrari seat of uh, Chazza's tonight. And uh, Addy is still continuing on. And he, uh, he's still ahead of Bolt at the moment. Three and a bit seconds behind Ed is Addy. But uh, he's doing a fantastic job at the moment. As King No Skill now comes into the pits. And of course, he is going to put on the hard compound of tyres. He's trying the one stopper here. Is King No Skill to go to the end of the race. And he has a five second time penalty by the looks of things. As the pit crew had to wait five seconds before... They touched the car. 
and now Kino Skill is on his way and where will he come out? He'll probably come out in P14 ahead of Danny Abin Lahar. And indeed he does. King No Skill in P14 ahead of Danny Abin Lahar. And he has quite a bit of work to do on those hard compound tires if he wants some points. But now, speaking of one stops, we have Bolt closing up to the back of the Haas driver in Addy. And Bolt's driving a, a fairly good race, but I'm sure he'll be disappointed by his standards. That he's not closer to the back of the race leader at the moment, and that is Ed GTS, who has a four and a half advantage over the Haas driver that you see in front of the Renault at the moment. As we have Merchelago and Testmeister squabbling for position further back as Merchelago has moved up past Testmeister for P10 in the Grand Prix. As I do apologise, I am so incredibly tired. Of course, I I really do want to co commentate. So that is why I'm doing this right now. Otherwise, I would be in bed. But Bolt, I must say, Addy has driven very well on these hard compounded tyres, considering, of course, he has been driving on them since the start of the Grand Prix. He's uh, he certainly hasn't he hasn't fallen back too far from Ed. The gap is four four and a half seconds. As Bolt struggling with the rear end a little bit there, on the exit of uh, turn eleven. Is <laughs> uh, Tesla Meister Merchelago still quite close on track for P10? And in, indeed they are. As uh, Tesla Meister has just lost out to Merchelago again. Smirchy like it gets a little bit better traction uh, out of turn 8. And now out of turn 10 they come. And Testmeister has the DRS as our Bolt has come into the pits um, for the for what will be a set of the, medi of the, uh, the medium or the hard. He's gone on the set of the medium compounded tyres. Has Bolt and um, he will be followed in by Addy. Um, probably on this lap, or or he could go longer and go onto the soft compound tyre. So Addy has uh, has quite a variant of strategies that he could go with. But our uh, Bolt, his two stop isn't going to certainly quite quite work out like Addy's has. I think Addy is in is uh, in the better position at the moment. Is is our, our second place driver in the championship? As Merchilago has covered the pitch for his second pit stop the race and what tyres does he go on he goes on the he goes on the medium compounded tyres and he is going to fall all the way back into P15 behind Danny Abin Lahar but of course he is one of the first to make a second pit stop in this race is now Jay Hobson UK is closing up to the back of Hereford, the Williams driver for P7. He's got to absolutely send it from a mile back. Is Jay Hobson UK? That really is a nice move by the English driver. I'm sure he'll be absolutely thrilled with that. There's all a big, big pit stop here. We have Addy coming into the pit lane, and he's gone on the medium compounded tyres. Now, where about is Bolt into relation to him? Ragnar has gone past and up into P2. But where is Bolt? There is Addy on the right-hand side. Bolt's going to have to go clean around the outside of the Haas driver. No, he's going to look for a switch back indeed. Addy is going to be at a disadvantage here on these cold tyres. But seemingly, no, he's got a fantastic exit. Coming out of turn three and into turn four. Bolt is not close enough. Oh, never mind. He's absolutely launching from a mile back as Addy's just moved out of the way. So there isn't gonna, wasn't going to be any contact as they're side by side. But Bolt has got the inside line and he's up into P3. That's a crucial move by Bolt in this race as he is up into P3. Addy on the 
one stopper, ball on the two stopper. Oh, and Bolt's gone off track. And Addy has followed him and gone into the back of him, losing a substantial part of his front wing. Bolt made a mistake and Addy followed suit. Disaster for both drivers, really, but more, more so for Addy, who's got quite a bit of damage. But although it's in, in saying that, it looks like he's able to follow Bolt up. Uh, relatively okay through these corners so he might not have too much damage in actual fact but uh, certainly a costly, costly mistake by both drivers there as they've of course got to close on Ragno in P2 and uh, Ed is uh, Ed of course the leader of this race is 25 seconds ahead of Ragno at the moment but Addy faking a move up the inside of Bolt, but Bolt doesn't fall for it. It doesn't defend it as Addy holds station for the tyre big in P4. <laughs> as uh, Ducky Afferman, I've just noticed, is uh, going to get past last of the Greek here on the main straight as the Torosa driver moves up in to P9. A nice move there by Dougie Afferman. But we're going to move back forward to the battle for third at the moment between Addy and Bolt. It looks like Bolt's actually pulled a little bit away here from Addy. Of course, Addy still well within uh, DRS. There's uh, a Schechtefer. There's oh, what's happened here? King No Skills absolutely going off. Oh, and J Hobson UK has got a time penalty for a severe collision with King No Skill. I'm sure we'll see a replay of that. And that is at turn eight, I believe. Yes, indeed, at turn eight, King No Skill has been absolutely. Well, it looks like he's been absolutely punted by a Jay Hobson UK, who really was having a pretty solid race earlier on. Has now had an absolute stinker there. And he's moved all the way down. As King No Skills uh, is just about staying ahead of Mochilago at the moment. But I'm pretty sure King No Skills got uh, quite a bit of damage to his car. As now Chiller Killer comes in for his second and final pit stop of the race. On to the medium compounded tyres. This has got Lust of the Greek trying to go around the outside of him. And now that turns to the inside for Chilla Killer. And now is Lust of the Greek going to be able to get past? He's going to go down the inside. Is Lust of the Greek and he gets the move down on Chilla Killer. A very nice move there by the Greek himself. Lust of the Greek. As Addy still really can't find a way past Bolt for the time being. The gap is nearing out to a second now. On lap 20 of 29. And this race has gone very, very quick, that's for sure. As Chilakilla and Lazar the Greek have traded positions here. As Lazar's running all over the exit curve. Trying to get past Dougie Afferman. Oh, sorry. By, uh, by Chilakilla. By Hook or by Crook. But he isn't able to do so at the moment. But now down the main pitch straight is Lazar the Greek. Who's going to have Slipstream. And DRS on the Alfa, Alfa Romeo driver of Chili Killer down into turn one. Although he does not have really any ERS at the moment, as you can see there. He's actually saving his ERS is Lazar. So he's not going to be able to get in a position to overtake at the moment.
as we have Ed who's come into the pits for his second and final pit stop of the race and he's going to go on to the soft compound tyres so Ed is going to be absolutely flying in the final part of this race and look at that as he's already halfway down the pit lane Bolt is now just about coming through the final corner absolute domination by Ed in this race it really has been as he is going to even come back ahead of Ragno into P1 as Ragno has actually come into the pit lane but Bolt in P2, defending from Addy in P3 for the time for the moment. As uh, Ragnos pit stop has uh, dropped him down to P6 uh, behind Val, who of course is on the one stop. So Ragno is going to have to get him put himself past Val that's for sure as Addy is just staying around this one second margin behind Bolt isn't really quite able to capitalize on any mistake or any wrongdoings by Bert so yeah I don't know why I said by Bert but I just did so whatever as uh oh as Jay Hobson UK has been disqualified for ignoring a drive through penalty, and I'm sure that was for the hefty collision between him and King No Skill, which we've seen uh, that looked to be on the exit of turn turn eight. So yeah, I'm sure we'll see some uh, some replays of that incident. And here we go, Addy is opening up the DRS on Bolt as he comes down the main straight. He's not really using these main ERS modes. Is Addy, but he closes up quite a bit in the braking zone. Does the Haas driver and all oh, on traction there. He's gained absolutely massively on Bolt there. Bolt has not had a good Good exit whatsoever, but he's going to have to go around the outside of Bolton. That is also difficult to do. But he goes to try for a switch back, and he now looks like he might have the inside line for the next corner. No, Bolt just about holds on for P2. Bolt, fantastic defending in the end by the Renault driver. And here we go. We have Bolt now attacking his fellow countrymen in Ragno 184 to try and get... P5. It's the Battle of the Italians here on track at the moment. The Italian teams, Italian drivers, Italian cars. Battling for P5, which of course they would hope to be battling for a little bit more than that, but that's where they are at the moment. And I must apologise now, my throat is actually getting quite a bit sore from commentating, so now I'm having to get some also drinks of water. But uh, I must say, Addy has been very impressive in his second race, as well as his first here. So, great addition to this league, as now he's closing in on Bolt. Down into turn one, he's going to chuck it up the inside. No, he thinks better of it as Bolt breaks reasonably late. <coughs> To make sure that that can not happen there. As uh, we have Tesla Meister now coming into the pits for his second pit stop, and I assume he's going to go on the soft compound tyres. Indeed, he is. And we'll keep an eye on whereabouts Testermeister comes out. As Schechterfahr gets completely in the way of Addy. That is absolutely disgusting driving by Schechterfahr. And I'm sorry, but that is worthy of a race ban in my opinion. That is disgusting driving. And he also collected Bolt in the process. Absolutely disgraceful. And hopefully that is not ruined at, uh, at his front wing, but it looks like he's actually suffering quite a bit through those fast corners now. Absolutely despicable driving there by the by his teammate Schechter for there, and I'm sure there'll be a few words 
that Haas there between those two drivers as uh, Testmeister actually come out in uh, was it was Testmeister who pit? Yes, it was. He come out in P11. But here we go. We have Eddie closing in on Bolt. He's going to throw it up the inside. Is he? No, he's not at the moment. But uh, Ragno is also just made his pit stop, and he is 15 seconds behind these slot as he is now. Oh no, Bragno pitted quite a little little bit ago, didn't he? As he's now actually just got past Hefford for P4 in this race. Who and he is 15 seconds behind Addy at the moment. It's just seen someone a comment in chat as a uh, Subaru ST Ryan. Good to see you here, mate. Is saying, uh, "Oops, yeah." Big ups there. Oh, and who's that? Who's that in the wall? Was that King No Skill on the wall? Let's see. I'll have to go back to a driver who's relatively close to the action here. And who is that in the wall? It's gone away now, but I assume it's King No Skill as he is just retired from the race. But it's going to be certainly a thrilling battle to the end between these two drivers here. The Renault of Bolt and the Haas of Addy for P2 as we're on, well, as we're on lap 25 of 29 as Addy nearly goes steaming into the back of Bolt. But now, surely Addy is close enough to get a move done here into turn one and he's going to absolutely fly comfortably past down the pit straight. Is Addy as he moves up into P2 ahead of Bolt but it looks like Bolt might actually have got a pretty good exit on the Haas driver here as he now has DRS on the Haas driver and he's going to chuck it up the inside. Yes, he does, but he massively outbreaks himself. He gets to slow down just about in time. But Addy on the, with the inside line gets the move done. He's up into P2 in this race. But Bolt is still not giving up. He's still all over the back of Eddie as we're heading through the tight and twisty part of the track as we now are exiting turn 8 and mo moving ourselves towards the awful turn 10 as Bolt goes offline a little bit wide as both drivers go off the circuit and who is going to come out better from these two drivers after that it looks like it's going to be Addy for the moment as he's just about holding on from Bolt here in P2 as uh Ed is about 20 seconds ahead of these. Oh, and Addy's made another mistake. He's gone wide there. As they're now side by side on the run down to the final corner. Bolt breaks a little bit later. Covers off Addy very nicely there on the curb. And Bolt uh, overtakes Addy into the final corner to get up into P2. But it's all for nothing as Addy nearly runs into the back of Bolt. And Addy up the inside. Gets the move done on the Renault driver. And he's back up into P2. A fantastic squabble between these two drivers. And Bolt's got three second tyre penalty for multiple warnings. You can see it was quite a clear cut there by Bolt. And that is rather costly. I'm not sure if Eddie's got a penalty or not. But big mistake there by Bolt to pick up that penalty. Which was really, really avoidable as he's got a much better run through those corners than Addy through seven and six. But he loses the rear end and was lucky to, to hold it. As it could have been quite easily curtains on the entry to turn eight for Bolt if he had lost that. Lost the car in the way which he threatened to do so. But Bolt once again in the DRS of Addy. But he's not going to be able to get past yet but Addy runs wide actually and he compromises his line is he going to touch that curb somehow he doesn't touch the curb but Bolt throws it down the inside here and he gets the move done does Bolt but now Addy is going to go up the inside in the final corner is he he backs out of it to make sure he gets DRS smart driving there by the Nemesis Online Racing League newcomer he's showing his smarts on his second race in the league and that is some that is some championship thinking there during the heat of the moment to make sure that you back out to get the DRS. Very smart driving there by the Haas driver, but 
It must be said, Bolt is still there. Oh, and then he loses the rear end. Does he go into the wall? No, he doesn't. As now his teammate Schechtefer actually goes through. And I'm sure that, uh... And I'm sure that Addy probably won't be exactly too pleased with that. As now this could allow Bolt to finally get away. And Addy is now struggling. Oh, and there he goes. She he doesn't have to wait too long as Schechtefer then spins. Makes an absolute clown of himself. As Addy is just uh, over a second behind Bolt. He's going to have to close back up as we're on lap 27 of 29. As Ed is uh, absolutely... Uh, well, I think it's only the right word. Oh no, it's a sound glitch with the with the gears. Never mind. Let's see if it's fixed itself. No, as uh, Ed is now going to come onto the penult lap of the Grand Prix here in Bahrain. As well as being a very, very good Bahrain Grand Prix and a very dominant race so far by Ed. But of course, there's still time for things to go south for Ed but with the way he's driven I don't think so as it looks like Addy's really struggling on these on these medium compounded tires here on lap 28 of 29 but of course Bolt of course um this all could be for nothing as he does of course have a three second time penalty f for multiple warnings so I'm, n I'm not sure if Addy does or not so let's see if Bolt is actually able to hold on to this P2 or if it has been for nothing and if and drop back into P3 but Addy is really fighting and struggling with the car needs to make sure that he stays and keeps the car on track. Does, doesn't push too hard. Of course, he wouldn't be aware the, that uh, Bolt has actually got this penalty. As Lazar go trying to go up the back up the inside of Testermeister after the wheel the wheel banging and the side pod banging goes for a little half spin and falls back into P10 from Testermeister, who was on some fresh soft compound rubber. And here we go on the final lap of the race is Ed and he is 26 seconds ahead of second place Bolt who is about now to start his final lap of the race and there you go Ed is nearly a full first sector ahead of Bolt it just shows you how much Ed's speed advantage has been and I must you've got to wonder what would the result be like if Chazza was here because I think it's quite clear to see at the moment that Ed and Chazza are the two fastest drivers on the grid. But Chazza, of course, will miss ne next week as, w as well. So that will be interesting as all. Well. What's happened to Addy? Addy is 11 seconds behind Bolt. He's made some sort of mistake. Just as I was saying, all he needed to do was to stay within three seconds. And he's lost, gone and lost quite a portion of his front wing by the looks of it and now he's going to be coming under threat from Ragno in the final couple of corners but now Ed is about to come through the final corner he comes out of the final corner and it's going to be win number one in the Nemesis Online F1 Championship for Ed a fantastic fantastic drive and he wins by nearly 27 seconds from Bolt, who's got to finish second ahead of Addy, who's get it's going to be under pressure from Ragno in the last couple of corners here, as he's really, really struggling. Oh, and he has mul a multiple warnings penalty, but I also believe Ragno has a penalty for that as well, as Bolt now does officially finish second. But now Ragno, is he going to dive it up the inside? No, he decides better for the beast. He's going to have a much better exit. That Addy, but then goes for some reason once again. And Ragno is going to finish behind Addy. And he finishes behind him on penalties as well. As Hereford's going to finish in P5. Val with a very strong performance in P6. Then it's going to be Ducky Afferman who finishes in P7. Chiller Killer 
who of course started the fourth, will be disappointed to finish P8. And then 19th is going to be test, so not 19th, 9th is going to be test of my star in the McLaren. As we have Merchilago actually batting with Lysus the Greek for the final points playing position here. But Merchilago not able to get the job done. Ultimately, as Lazar is going to finish in P10 ahead of Merchilago, who comes home P11. But that's it, folks. A dominant, dominant display there by Ed GTS in what is his maiden F1 victory in the Nemesis Online Racing League series. And he takes the championship lead from Chazza. And I think Addy will go up into uh, up into uh, up into second place in the championship now. With that result, of course, you can find all of the uh, all the championship standings on the Nemesis Online Racing League uh, website and Twitter page so of course keep your eye on the socials for that during the week but that was a thoroughly enjoyable Grand Prix and you can see a couple of penalties uh, for the majority of the drivers certainly lost pen a lot less penalties what than what there were last week but Ed wins very comfortably what was a was it well it was nearly it was 29 second win for Ed second is Bolt he was followed home by Addy, Ragnar, Hefford in 5th, Val 6th, Ducky Appermed 7th, Chiller Killer 8th, Te ninth Testo, Lazar, Merchilago, Danny Abinlaha, Schechtefer, Lola Power, Skull, Jacob's Motorsport, King No Skill, Anatoge, Jay Hobson are our retirees from this event. But of course, thank you for everyone for joining us and for the drivers popping in after the race to and give us their thoughts on their race and of course until next time and that will be the Chinese Grand Prix um, at, uh, starting at around about the same time after the Mexican after the uh, US Grand Prix not 100% sure if I will be commentating next week because I do have an exam um, but I can't remember exactly what time that exam is at so I'm not sure if I will see you next week, but if not, then I will see you the week after for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. So, until I hear from you guys, or you hear from me next time, I hope you all have a, have a good time, and we'll see you later.